So our first step is going to be to assign each student a number from 0, 1 to 36. Now it's important you don't start at 1. You have to start at 0, 1 because each number we assign to the students has to be two digits long to make each number equally likely to be selected from our random number list. For step 2, we'll check the digits two at a time in a random number table for values between 0, 1 and 36. We need to ignore repeats and continue the process until we have five unique values. For step three, we're going to match the digits to the corresponding student numbers to form our simple random sample. So now we're going to use our method. First, we need to assign all the students a number. All right, now we're ready to look through our table. The first two digits are 31. Since that's between 0, 1 and 36, we'll circle it. It's our first selection. The next two digits are 98, so we'll just cross those out. Now we have a 94. The 9 is here, and there's the 4. So we'll cross out 94. Now we have 33. That works. 69 exceeds our interval of digits. Uh, so does 57. So does 63. And so does 51. And so does 82. And so does 53 again. So does 78. Now 27, that works. And our next digit is 2, 3. So 23. 97 doesn't work. And let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We need one more. Here it is, 35. So we're going to use the numbers 31, 33, 27, 23, and 35. Let's look at what names those correspond to. Emma is 35, Anthony is 33, Zachary is 31, Abigail is 27, and Tyler is 23. So those are the students in our sample. Before we move on to part C, let me show you a way to do this on the calculator instead of using the table of random digits. Press the math button and go over to PRB, probability. Now if you have a newer calculator, it will have this option, rand int no repeat. So I'm gonna say start at one and go up to 36 and select five numbers. And the neat thing about this is it won't pick any numbers that repeat. So when I press paste and then enter, here's my numbers. It looks like uh, number 34, James, Anthony, number 33, Alexis, number six, number 19, Andrew, and 15, Elizabeth. That's our sample. And if you press enter again, it will give you a new sample. So you can draw as many as you want. If you don't have that function on your calculator, don't worry, you can still use this. Press math and go to PRB, click random integer, and for lower, we're gonna do one again, upper 36. But for N, we're gonna put a number greater than five. That way, if we get any repeats, we can ignore them and move on to the next number. So I'll put like 15. And all I'm going to do is use the first five unique numbers. So let's see, 36, 11, 10, 5, and 2. Well, the first five are unique, so I don't have to worry about it. But if I scroll through this, I think, yeah, we got two twos right there. So this list does generate repeat numbers, so watch out for those. The wording of this question will likely lead to response bias. Students will likely be influenced by the strong words like intelligent, talented, hardworking, and they're going to feel pressured to answer the test or not too hard, so they can feel like they're part of that group. This would lead to an underestimate of the true proportion of students who feel the test are too hard. If you like this video and want to learn more about collecting data through sampling and experiments, check out this playlist. We cover sampling methods, bias, simple random samples, experiments, and more.